Mississippi. We are at the Mississippi Trademark for the Mississippi Farm Bureau and Ag Up, a sale of champions. We welcome to the program now Leighton Varner, a scholarship recipient. Thanks for coming on, Leighton. Tell us about this scholarship. Hey, so um, I made it to the sale of champions with um, my market hair sheep, and then also we made it with two goats this year, and um, my brother exhibited one of them, so I'll receive the scholarship with whatever money is bought, like whatever is purchased for my coat. And, I got you. Um, uh, as well as the hair sheep, so put in a lot of work for it and everything. Yeah, so. that's pretty exciting. How, yes, how did you get uh, interested in uh, raising animals like that? So we started off with actually showing chickens, and okay. um, so that was really fun. We did we did all right, and then we my mom was like, you know, you want to show a goat? And I was like, sure. And so we got in it. We weren't real good at the beginning, but we put in a lot of work, and it has paid off. What you going to do with the scholarship money? Thought about that? <laughs> yes, sir. So that usually just, it usually goes, we have a savings account, and so everything okay. usually is going to, it's going to all go towards my college and also going to go to expenses for next year's so, show stream. Okay. So. so are you thinking about perhaps pursuing a career in agriculture? To that yes. Effect? Yes, sir. I've thought about it for sure. And I also have an interest in politics, and so I really? think like something. Like dad. Yes, sir. <laughs> so something along those lines, I think. And a little mix between ag and the politics world would be really cool. You can do both. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, do you think you might uh, want to buy some land and, and set up some sort of agricultural um, operation? Is that yes, sir. in the future, perhaps? Yes, sir. So we actually are, uh, we have uh, our own farm at the house right now where we breed show goats. And okay. so um, really, when I go to college, I'm sure I'll come back home and help with that. And I mean, who knows in the future, I might be taking it over. You never know. But um, I think that's um, something that I've definitely thought about. Okay. So. What's involved in showing a goat? What are the judges specifically <laughs> looking for when they're judging goats? So there's a lot of stuff, but um, I guess if you're talking about uh, just the regular like market classes, they're you know, they're going to feel over the top and feel the loin and if it's, you know, like real, like strong and like hard over the top. Oh, like are there standards that they're um, comparing that to? Yes, yeah, yes, okay. sir. It's just, I mean, usually it's truly just the judge's preference. Okay. And so um, some of them might like them more exotic and, you know, that means like they have the longer extended neck and kind of like they prance around the show ring. But <laughs> some some might like them, you know, they more. Pr they prance? Yes. Okay, so yes. they know they're being shown. <laughs> yes, so they're in the limelight Well, there. they used to not, but we have to train <laughs> them to do that. <laughs> but um, so they, so, but some of them might like them like more piggy and like, you know, real like stocky and that kind of okay. thing. So it kind of just little, depends on little the little subjective. Judge. Yes, sir. So did, did they uh, share with you why you you got uh, the top award there what happened um at dixie this year yeah. um so i mean the judge i feel like at this dixie he did like him a little more exotic i feel <laughs> okay. like so um he uh definitely he picked uh on along that line so i mean he talks about him in the class and why he picked him and okay. so that's that's kind of what he said. So the judges, are they typically folks that have a background yes, um, sir. In, in raising those animals, for yes, example? Yes, sir. So usually they're either, um, they've been breeders before, and so they know what, you know, they're looking for everything, or yeah. um, they, some of them have been on, like, judging teams at different colleges, and, you know, state has a judging team, and so it really just kind of depends where their background is, but they more than likely always have a background. So when your mother suggested to you after showing the chickens, we should think about showing goats, what, what was your next action? <laughs> Well, I was I was kind of younger then. I was like in sixth, seventh grade, but I was I was like, all right. And so we went to a sale. I was I don't know. It was just like a little small sale, and um, we got a goat, and it was name was Champ. And so um, <laughs> appropriate name. Yes, <laughs> yes, sir. And so we started working with him and everything, and he did he did all right. But <laughs> yes, sir. So that's you had to teach really him how to prance. Yes, sir. We had to you know teach him how to brace and everything. So. <laughs> 
Got, got a perk up for the judges. Yes, well, that's sir. really pretty cool. Yes, sir. Um, so, do you develop relationships with some of the other youngsters that are involved in oh, showing yes. the animals like this? I mean, yes, it becomes sir. kind of a uh, oh, sort yes. of a bit of a fraternity, huh? Yes, sir. I mean, really, I just feel like I'm family with the people I show with. Like, it is. It's one of those things. Like, if I don't, if I don't, let's say I don't do good, didn't do good at Dixie this year or something, um, I'm not going to be upset because, you know, some of my friends got it, and I know they put in just. Just as work, just as much work as I do, and so it just makes me happy for them. And so you know, it's kind of like you're happy. It's like a win-win on yeah. each side. So, so it's one of those sort of competitions where you're you're supportive and you're encouraging each yes. other, and you're you're yes. you're happy for the others when, yes, when they and succeed and win. Yes, sir. And we also help each other, and that's sure. a big thing. You know, most people are like, oh yeah, we're not going to help our competition, but in this industry, it's the complete opposite. Like yeah. you, you always are going to help each other. You're going to build each other up and be happy for each other no matter what. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, so, Mike, after uh, visiting with Leighton here, I would say the future of agriculture in our state's in good hands. <laughs> Absolutely. You couldn't get a better set of kids that are coming through this. It's going to be uh, great leaders for the ag industry moving forward and great leaders for the state. Yeah, just to yeah, run absolutely. for public office. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we she'll need do well. more people in agriculture in, uh, in our state <laughs> government. I, I think you'll definitely do well. So, d is there anything beyond this or n uh, uh, more shows in store for you, or what are you going to do here? Yes, sir. So, next year's my senior year. Okay. So, um, it's my uh, second to last Dixie National. Okay. And so, we'll, you know, put in as much work as we can, put in all the work next year, and yeah. work real hard to, yeah. you know, get here again. And the Dixie so. National, of course, the greatest show on dirt, <laughs> attracts folks from all over the country. Yes, sir, it does. So all those people, they always come to the rodeo and everything. So. Yeah. So do any of them participate in the sale of champions as well? Do we um, is it, do we allow folks from out of state? So Dix, the livestock show, um, yeah. I think the open shows, I might could be wrong, but I think those might be out of state. I could be wrong. But um, I know Dixie National, like the livestock oh, yeah. show, it's just um, – uh, people in state. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, it, it it certainly is awesome. So, uh, it, what kind of feedback do you get after you after you um, succeed like that? What what sort of feedback do you get from folks that really do appreciate your efforts? They certainly they recognize how hard you've worked to get to that point. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, if on my uh, with my family and everything, yeah. um, you know, we all are putting in work. So. Sure. You know, it's almost like like it's not just me winning. So it's like we all kind of are just proud of each other. Team. Yes, sir. Yeah. It Collaborative really is. Effort, right? Yes, sir, for yeah. sure. Well, that's much the way it is on the actual farms themselves, isn't it? Yes, not? sir. Can't it be is. done just by one person. It requires no. a team. Oh no, it requires it requires a lot of people. It's it's hard work. Yeah. So do you feel like um, in each successive year that you've participated, do you do you learn stuff and and oh, improve yes. for the next year? Oh yes, for sure. I mean, it's it's crazy the stuff that you learn. I mean, you can't you can't. I've heard people say before you can't teach people you can't like teach people in schools like what you learn in the livestock barn. Sure. And that is so true because I've learned stuff here like just life lessons, and it's made me a better person and everything like that. So. But you know, don't you feel like that'll carry on, say, in your college education and then your your professional life afterwards? Oh yes, sir, for sure, for sure. It'll I mean, that's a big part. Of it, right? Yes, sir. My yeah. my work ethic has gotten. I mean, I mean, with having livestock, you have to have a good work ethic, and I feel like that, you know, kind of feeds into like my life and everything. Like just like I'll have a good work ethic in everything I do because, you know, showing livestock has taught me to, you know, work hard and you'll succeed. So. Yeah. Well. Certainly, that's uh, no secret about that, is there, Mike? You you uh, you choose the agriculture industry as an occupation. Um, you can be rewarded, but you got to work hard, like you do at anything else. Yeah, farming's not a easy job. It's really a difficult uh, profession, but. The people that do it are, are chosen by God to, to to help feed his world, and it's something that's inside of you. And uh, we've got a great new generation coming up, and we couldn't have a better place to develop those skills than what you're seeing here with the youth today. And that's a good point. I mean, Mississippi, we really do serve the world from an agricultural perspective. This is it's a global commodity. Somebody sits down to eat three times a day, you got to thank your farmer because somebody got out and uh, worked hard to provide that food for their family. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, what's, what do you think about uh, majoring in, in that respect? Um, I 
really, truly, it changes every day. Okay. I mean, you could ask any of That's my okay. friends. <laughs> but, um, I mean, just uh, anything like political science, something oh. like that. I mean, anything. Because of your political aspirations, yes, sir. of yes, course. Sir. I should have known that. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I'm wanting to go to law school after. Okay. So if everything like that works out, then um, that's just something along those lines is what I'll do. Maybe that's not. Really cool. It maybe not exactly political science, but some kind of major with that. So. Well, uh, it's been a delight to speak <laughs> with you today. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that you will succeed at whatever <laughs> profession you choose. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I'd love to see you enter the political realm and, and also uh, be a member of the Agriculture committee, uh, community in, here in Mississippi. Take care and congratulations yes, on sir. all your success. Thank you. Leighton Varner, scholarship recipient. Folks, we're stepping aside for a break for the Mississippi Farm Bureau and Ag Up Sale of Champions coming right back.